Hey everybody, Hitch here, and today we're going to go through my Faceless Void game that I played for the All Hero Challenge. Um, since I'm going to be trying just a, a regular cast over this game, uh, because Faceless Void's a, a hero most everybody knows, and I didn't play any very unique game style or anything like that, so I'm just going to go for a general cast on this game. So, for this game I had uh, Doob joining, uh, awesome, uh, one of my uh, streamer friends. I also got Brandon from Some Albino Gaming. He's be back here on uh, the Lich. Let's see who else we have. Terrorblade, played by Zuya. Not somebody I knew, but time. still cool. Same, and then Andrew Ol, just another random person in the party. That'll finish out the Radiant side of which I was playing on. On the Dire, if you see yourself, got, you know, so shoot me a message. Captain Sassy Pants on the Ricky. Alien Bot on the. Juggernaut Pudge being played by Ben Bot, who is just rotting himself because he. And Tango, okay, weird. Uh, being that guy, Crystal Maiden, and then the uh, CY on uh, the Anti Mage. What the hell? Well, that's kind of suspicious. I think that's just a visual glitch because I don't remember him having rot on the entire time. So, oh. Going for each Alien Bot taking a lot of damage, but also they get a lot of damage on Zuya for this top rune the contention goes so pudge block of the creeps as everybody goes mid for some reason <laughs> okay so kept sassy pants and alien bot rotating to the bottom where it's gonna be me on the faceless void waiting to encounter with some albino gaming meanwhile up top andrew's being a solo off lane on this awesome tide hunter he's uh, leveled gush uh at the uh, the rune to help terrorblade not get completely Killed in the face. Terrorblade, of course, going f already level 2, going for Conjure Image and Metamorphosis. Very common way to start out on this hero. Bottom. Um, I can't remember how well we do in this lane. I remember Ricky being missing, like, all the damn time, so. It's just me versus, uh... Me with, luckily, the harass keeping me safe. Let's see. Um, up top, this is also a good laning duel, just because she can freeze you in place while he beats you to death, but he doesn't have the damage to do it early on on the anti-mage, so see why on there. Going to be having a bit of a tough time against this this uh, Tidehunter, especially if he levels Kraken Shell early enough. Juggernaut's taking some harass from us, and he's still recovering from his uh, rune excursion. So... Right now, it's of course just the, the farming stage of the game, so oh, Bino just going to be... Okay, I'm getting cut out here. I need to run the f out. Okay, luckily I do. Well, I got Andrew getting his mana drained already, and that's gonna be tough to deal with on the uh, the Tide Hunter because he's he's leveled Anchored Smash and Gush Anchor Smash to bring down the armor of CY, but it's not gonna be very helpful in this situation. Uh, I got a can't pull from being that guy on the Crystal Maiden uh, without pulling it all the way through. Uh, it seems kind of a waste, but she takes a few creeps away from it and experience. Runes are up. Two minute runes. Got a double damage and a bad rune. Let's see if anybody goes for him. Looks like a... Uh, okay, so the rot thing went away, so... Tidehunter calling out top missing. He's getting a little deep here for having no mana, so Crystal Maiden looking for the wraparound that decides against it. There's a dire war that can see everything, and so they need to be extra careful here. Uh, Andrew... No, he gets lucky there. No wraparound. And Pudge been taking some some decent harass from Zuya, but Zuya needs to be careful about standing still. The hook and rod are both online, and that could be enough to finish off somebody. Uh, for now, the uh, runes both being ignored. Let's check out our last hits and denies. Okay, so we got Enigma, of course, leading the charts. Hey, I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm keeping up with Pudge. And then, uh, <laughs> sorry, that never happens. So. Oh, down bottom looks like we had uh, the beginnings of an initiation with Enigma rolling in, but uh, they saw Brewwise to it and backed off, so. Get another deny and a last hit in there. Enigma, of course, topping these charts out along with our, our mid laner, so that's going very well. The only problem for us is the anti mage is all not getting shut down at all. Captain Sassy Plants taking some harass from some albino gaming in the mid lane. It's got the metamorphosis and everything up. Uh, Doob grabbing the boundary room on his, uh, I'd like to say signature Enigma because he played that hero very well this game. Uh, man, this tower is taking a lot of early damage from this uh, Terror Blade, which is what you, exactly what you want to do on the Terror Blade. But Pudge getting himself ready for a hook. 
Well, Crystal Maiden has come down to bottom. I got four bot against me and poor Brandon from some albino gaming. Oh, Captain Sassy Pants will take this opportunity to take top and get some free farm. They really want to get that Ricky up to level six so he can. Uh, yeah, he's only level three right now. Well, meanwhile, in the same lane. Oh, I guess I'm only level four, but. Ben Bot, level five. He's uh, looking for that hook. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it there, but he just goes for a last hit. Okay, Ricky trying to get out some harass on Andrew, who finally gets a level and crack in shell, which will do well. They start really pressuring the tower bottom as I. Um, Really forced back and uh, try to. <laughs> Not sure what to do at this point. I'm probably a little far forward and could play a little more carefully, but I really wanted some last hits and. Because uh... <laughs> I know how important farm can be to a faceless void. Ooh! Nice harass coming up from Brandon from Small Bino Gaming. Just keeping him backed off. He really enjoys that nuke, and with the, uh, the mana return you get from Devour, or Sacrifice. Uh, it's really worth it. Pudge gonna be running down bottom, sees a regen rune, and then leaves it for Alien Bot on the uh, Juggernaut, bringing him back up to full health. So laning, they're both gonna go back mid, and that means probably somebody's gonna be looking to kill this Terror Blade, so. The only problem with Terror Blade is you're gonna have to figure out which one's the illusion, which one's real. Okay, so they fished out the real one, here comes the hook. Oh, but he misses it! It was just too short! He had that dead on, actually! Surprisingly enough, Courier coming out with a, uh, a magic stick for me. Hands on my inventory a little. Got my poor man's shield to try to deal with the, the physical damage of the, the laning we were going against. With the Ricky and Juggernaut. So, let's see. Being that guy, taking... Oh, double harass coming out from both sides, but the Frost not doing much. I jumped back. Probably didn't need to, but there it is. Juggernaut looking for the jump in on Andrew, who has his Ravage now. He's going back through there. Last it's denies, same pretty constant, so uh I wonder who, who Okay, with sixes online, it's uh wow, Terrorblade really getting a lot out of this mid lane. Let's see what he's built up, anything. Okay, a ring of Akula. He's got it active. He's seven, got Enigma six, and then everybody's getting pretty close to their sixes, so team fight's about to come online. Got a Engaged bottom, here comes Dude being that guy on the Crystal Maiden, left to die. There's the stuns, here's the bashes, and then the last hit going for some albino gaming. Turn into Crystal Maiden into Crystal nice Dust. With me. Meanwhile, top, they're looking to get something going, getting closer to the towers. They ping out, let's attack this tower, and uh, really nah, not able to do enough damage as Anti Mage is getting kind of wary about going in on us, knowing that uh, Dube could come in at any second. The best thing you can do as Enigma is stay off the map. Ooh, Hook actually catches Zuya. He drops an illusion, but it doesn't look like he's going to get enough. He, oh, he gets out of the rot, so he can start moving, but the Hook's going to come off a cooldown. He doesn't have the mana to do it, but Zuya, oh, he does too many jukes. He gets back in rot range. No, he doesn't. Is he going to make it out of this? He turns to fight. Oh, oh, he just puts out the, uh, the dark reflection, and it looks like Zuya's going to get out of this with 65 health. Is Benbot frustrated? At trying to get the kill on the Terror Blade in mid lane. Let's see, meanwhile, bottom, not a lot going on, just some back and forth. Back and forth. Uh, Chronosphere is up. There's a pause coming out from Crystal Maiden, and then an unpause coming out from right, Crystal Maiden. <laughs> Crystal Maiden, only level 4, so. Yeah, same with Anti Mage, so they really need to get some levels online, so. Let's see if the Omni Slash. The Omni Slash isn't even online, nor is the. The blink strike, so that's gonna cause them a lot of problems. Oh, I have the hero level up right here. <laughs> Pudge moving into the woods, trying to get a kill on the poor Enigma dupe here, and it's gonna be a pretty, I'm gonna say, an easy kill if you can find him. The only problem is finding him. He searches the camps, and dude, probably in the safest camp he can be. Oh, and he rotates opposite. He's gonna go. We ping out, or somebody pinged out. Oh, and here it comes. There it is. Just gets close to him. No. Okay, uh, Okay. so they, they ping out the uh, the Enigma, they're gonna go for it, they blink in with the enemy, here comes the uh, uh, Dismember, I drop in, there's a Chrono, I saved Dupe, wow, cool, I don't think we're gonna have enough, Dupe needs to really get out of there, oh, there's the black hole, but it wasn't, oh, he's just close enough to get killed, we're gonna turn around, try to get a kill on being that guy, and drool here with the anchor smash, I get hooked, I try to get out of it, here comes the hits, turn around, and I'll cancel the bottle from some albino gaming. There's another hit, and then the blow up from Lich getting the kill. So it ends up being a two for one for our side. And mid tower falling to Zuya on the Terrorblade. So good times happening for 
Team Hitch, Captain Sassy Pants, grabbing a haste room. Looking to capitalize on all these damaged heroes at the bottom. We'll see uh, how well he can. So he runs in, trying to find somebody, anybody. He knows Doob's back up, so it's probably his target of choice. So he sees Doob, decides not to go for it. Okay, there he goes. Captain Sassy Pants drops it, goes for the, uh, the strikes. Doob needed to get out of that. There comes the stun, the blink strike. And Doob's done. There's too many blink strikes to deal with here. Oh no, I guess not. He decides to get out of it. He doesn't have any... He had one blink strike charge left. But he decided not to use it. And then uh, he's just going to run away invisible and safe. Down. It's like I'm headed back to the well. While Top taking some damage from this Terror Blade who's just doing his job. Taking down buildings and uh, rolling faces. Podge coming in to deal with uh, Terror Blade as he thinks he's going to get this hook off. Let's see what actually happens. I don't remember at this point. Spin coming out and as he drops to his regular phone so they know which one it is. He's going to take Alien Bot with one more strike. He's diving deep for this. He gets the kill but here comes the hook. He needs to keep... Oh, just go straight for the dismember and the tower is going to finish off Zuya. Oh! Oh my god! The Sunder gets the turnaround kill on Podge. I thought he was going to stay stunned long enough but he just had that little bit left. Ricky decides he's coming in to finish this off, as long with CY, but it looks like, again, Zuya just going to be running out of here. Good play from this Terror Blade, man. That was amazing. Meanwhile, I've rotated mid, and I'm going to start farming up the, uh, the mid, just because, I guess. <laughs> Let's take a look at our current net worths. Of course, topping out the charts. Top three, Team Hitch, so... Good for us. Doing well. Uh, meanwhile, down bottom, Dube, Andrew, and Summer Binder Gaming getting another kill on being that guy. While Captain Sasty Pants just lurks around in the wings as they start pressuring this tower. Top CY getting some free farms, so that's good for him. He's topping it out for his team. And uh, Juggernaut going into the jungle. He doesn't have a Mask of Madness or, or any lifesteal at this point, so it's going to be a little bit harder for him uh, until he gets those items online. So, game kind of slowing down a little bit as we... Oh, nope. Here comes the attack on to Andrew from Captain Sassy Pants. There's the Ravage, but it's a defensive one. He needs to get out. There's the Blink Strike forward. Does he have enough? Oh, there's the Harass and Slow coming out for some Albino Gaming. He might be the Sacrificial Lamb, but then he gets the hook. Long distant hook on the Tide. And he gets reeled in for a kill. It's always weird when you see him pulling back a corpse. Azuya going for again for this top tower. Just... Just messing it up. I pick up uh, an illusion room and throw out some just kind of warty, warty illusions. Just give it some free vision. Enigma still rocking around on the jungle. Let's see. He's got his blink dagger and soul ring online, and that's all we need right now. I've got a poor man's shield, my power treads, and a magic wand. The upgraded version. Okay. See why getting burned down by Zuya, who's picked up a Yasha to help him his farm and just attack speed in general. This top tower might be. Uh, yeah, it's done. And then I grab a bounty room and start the head top to help this faceless void as he's trying to make his way out. Captain Sassy Pants, not sure which one to blink strike on, but one illusion will be going down here soon. Here comes Andrew, an alien bot gets blown up by an anchor smash. Captain Sassy Pants also takes a run. CY getting really damaged. Captain Sassy Pants got the silence on Zuya, but he's, he's not going to get it. There's the Sunder. It's Captain Sassy Pants probably going to fade before we can get to him. Yep, there he goes. And he's out. Anchor smash to try to get the clearing, but... Uh, Oh, look, I, I think I know. Okay, now I just go. <laughs> so, Captain Sass Man's barely making up. And meanwhile, solo kill on the Lich onto the Crystal Maiden for a ton of gold. Well played by Brandon from Summer Wino Gaming. Meanwhile, up top, looks like we're going to be going out on Ben Bot and Captain Sassy Pants. I leap in. One more hit will get it as the Terror Blade gets the kill. We start to move on to a tier 2. No sign of slowing down as this ridiculously farmed Terror Blade is just carrying us to victory. Got Captain Sassy Man scouting us out the whole time, but he's not able to do much about it with these tanky cores of ours. Being that guy ports in, we'll see if he d we just decide to focus on the tower until they decide to make a... Oh, Andrew diving in, but he gets Omni Slashed, and there's the spin. Spin, can he win though? Yeah, he gets it off. We get the tower, and I think we're going to decide to get out of here. Ha, Chrono not on cooldown, so I just decided to run. Captain Sassy Vance goes for me. Zuya turns around, throws a dark reflection of him, and then we just start beating him to death as he starts to run away again. Ooh, one more will finish him off. Alien Bot getting overconfident, and one more right click will take him down. CY also getting stunned, and he blinks out at the last second, being that guy going to be stunned and killed. 
The hook coming out grabs me, but he was going for the Crystal Maiden for the save. Didn't realize he grabbed me. And then he's out of here. So a three for one trade up top. Farm going towards to your faceless void and your Terror Blade is not what you want if you're the other team. Benbot coming back in. He gets stunned. I right, we'll start hitting. He goes for the the uh, dismember and then oh the hook gets the kill on terra blade bringing him to the top of his team's net worth and then the kill going the way of the enigma so dude getting really farmed on this enigma he's got 1500 gold as long as that i pick up a morbid mask get some lifesteal back and a bounty rune while well, we cleared out that top lane meanwhile the bottom andrew and some albino gaming just ticking away at this tower to get out, taking too many tower shots, so now it goes on to Andril, who's got enough in Kraken Shell that shouldn't do too much damage to him. So we go for the hits, and oh, there comes the Fortify. Let's see if they can get it anywhere in time. I'm coming up through River, and I grab a ooh, haste room. But we get that bottom tower, no contest, so I run in, and uh, not much to see, I guess. Meanwhile, things looking pretty dire for the dire. Benbot only having an urn and bottle online, along with his... Tranquil Boots, man, this guy's really concerned about his health, which he likes to keep up because of Rot, so not entirely bad. Oh, man, poor Ring of Ring Gen and protection for being that guy. Captain Sassy Bands has a poor man's shield, a Wraith Band, and just Boots of Speed, unfortunately, all he's been able to put together. Quelling Blade, Phase Boots, and Stout Shield, all Alien Bot has right now, and CY only being able to have Power Treads, Quelling Blade, Ring of Health, poor man's shield, and for some reason has an Observer Ward. I hope he wasn't, he didn't have to buy that himself. That would be just straight depressing. All right, each team happy to farm for a little bit. Zuya going back in some of his net worth from that death, uh, clearing out the jungle. But Enigma's done a pretty damn good job of clearing it out as he picks up a point booster. Probably going to be turning it straight into an Ag Scepter. Here comes the hook. Drop on Andrew. Oh, and he's frozen inside of the rot. Can we kill him in time? Did not get the kill in time, but we get a two-for-one trade on the Tide Hunter. As we move in to clear this lane, we know with three down, we can just go ahead and take another tower. As Zuya goes mid to get a kill on Alien Bot, if he can grab it, he drops the illusion. Here's the spin to win, but he's just too much damage coming out. <laughs> Boy, you can I killed Todd. How do you feel? Oh, well, I didn't feel... Hey, he killed you too, so Todd was okay with it. He actually said, uh, worth it every time. Our top tower takes some damage, but oh, I guess we decide not to push this tower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, it's good, Dyer's good chat. <laughs> All right, so Dyer's mid, taking some damage, and then uh, I just push out the wave, and since I'm alone, I decide to get back. <laughs> Precious melons. So, see why going into the jungle, he's been able to pick up his broadsword, so he's getting closer and closer to that battle fury. He'll need to turn into a flash farmer. But Zuya. Going into the enemy jungle, deciding he wants a piece of it, and he wants to take farm away from people. Moves in, sees the camp, has already been farmed. So that turns this into a hunting trip for him. <laughs> but he decides to go back into the uh, the lane and farm up some stuff. I grab a regen rune, and just zip out. <laughs> here comes the hook, but nothing. Gonna be fine in here. Sasha and Yanj, and a claymore picked up by Terrorblade. He's getting scurrier and scurrier. As he f oh, he comes up, he sees CY. CY needs to get the blink out here, and he does. Ooh, one of the best escape mechanism, built-in escape mechanisms in the game, of course, being a blink. Zuya not having any lockdown, so he can just run away. Juggernaut coming up and looking for... Andrew, but he doesn't realize that uh, this could be a bad... Okay, here comes the Omni Slashes online. He sees it. Oh, but he gets a dark illusion. There's the Omni Slash, but it's on two end illusions. There's the Sunder. Oh, Sunder premature. He actually gives life to Alien Bot. And then I'll probably have to back off because of it. Alien Bot taking just a little bit more damage as they destroy the illusion. Whew, not a good engagement for Team Hitch, but still could have been worse. As we move into the jungle and take what little farm they had. Meanwhile, pushing out uh, bottom with some Albino Gaming who has. Uh, <laughs> Frost armor practically on auto cast this game. Crystal Maiden being spotted out by the uh, Tide Hunter here. She throws the freeze and drops the ultimate, but he drops his ultimate and return to her solo kill as Dupe gets the kill. Actually, I didn't see him. He's outside the screen, gets the Malefice. While Benbot moves into the trees looking for a hook on Dupe, I would guess. 
Or Andrew, whoever you can get it on. Doob halfway done with his uh, scepter. While Bottom Tower is taking some hits from this uh, siege creep. Doob moves tower. into the uh, yeah, enemy jungle, but CY sees him. He's going to jump in on him. Uh, then sees the <laughs> Tide Hunter and immediately blinks Dyer's away. Bottom tower. Bottom tower. I dropped the chrono, I but I chrono myself in the spin to win. Here we go. So you're going to try to take out Alien Bot, but I get hooked by Ben Bot. And there's the dismember killing me. Albino drops the ult, but it's not going to get any kills for him as it's a two for null trade for the Dire. Big comeback gold for their uh, their team. They really needed that. So that brings them into the top five at farm. As Anti Mage just doing his thing, cleaning up some Eidolons. But Doob gets away scot free. He's got a black hole and he's finished up another piece of his Agonim's, Agonim's Scepter. As Shadow Blade picked up for Suya on the Terror Blade. Crystal Maiden grabs her Tranquil Boots. And let's see how Ricky's been doing. Okay, so pretty much the same. <laughs> ben Bot picking up his Blink Dagger, which will really help him with his positioning. Being that guy, those boots will really help him out if he can get away. And he should be able to. Uh, Alien Bot, uh, okay, he's got some drums going on now. This is awesome. Kawaii Super Goblin. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Okay, poured in from... Oh, it's me. Huh. As we gather mid with some albino gaming. Terrorblade moving up and just cleaning up these ancients. Man, he's getting terrifying. He's almost... <laughs> he's 4,000 gold ahead of the closest person on the enemy team. He's... Uh, he... It's insane. See, meanwhile, I pick up a mithril hammer. I'll see what I turn that into. Probably a BKB. I actually don't remember, so. Captain Sass Pants, uh, just scatting us out as they get their, their team in place up here. Benbot gonna be looking for a hook, let's see if he can get it. Probably gonna wanna go on not Zuya, cause that Sunder is really bad for Pudge, but probably try to go for the hook on some yeah, Albino Gaming. Alien Bot, just chilling, they, they're they not really sure where to go in. Captain Sassy Pants, they're waiting for anybody to engage. They ping out their Pudge, letting him know, hey man, we're waiting for your engage. Some Albino Gaming, pretty exposed here. Okay, he moves out. Oh, here comes Alien Bot running in. Ben Bot getting ready. And there's the Chrono <laughs> out of nowhere for one. Okay. Not a great Chrono. Here comes the Omni Slash. Hook on... I couldn't tell what he actually got it off. There's the spin to win on me. I need to get the hell out of there. And, oh, get the leap, but he has, oh, Sunder on Captain Sassy Pants, and he's still hunting me down. Meanwhile, they get the kill on Pudge and on uh, Juggernaut and the tower. Captain Sassy Pants looking for a turnaround. He swings around, looks at some albino gaming, decides against it as the march of the lanes continues for this Dyer's terror blade. Captain Sassy Pants really not confident on going in on anybody as I apparently escaped. We lost the Enigma in that fight, but a, a two for two for one in a tower is definitely not a terrible trade. All right. So Brandon on some Albino Gaming picking up a mech, which probably made a huge difference in that fight. Oh, so close to Battle Fury on CY. As he blinks forward, he sees Brandon from, and... Nope, he's just going to the secret shop to finish up that Battle Fury. That'll make a ton of difference in these upcoming fights, because his farm should be getting out of control now. It's weird, I thought I heard Ricky, and I didn't I didn't see him anywhere. So, they just start uh, cleaning up the wave. They have a Dire Observer Ward, giving them plenty of vision in this, this big area. It's not a, not a terrible ward at all. As I meet up with Benbot, and he starts to throw the the spin to win. As we start on Roshan, and there's the... Oh, zipping in on him. Nobody really committing for anything. Oh, that guy on the back line. Here comes the Lich ult, separating their team out. CY and Benbot both taking some serious damage from it. As the Tidehunter goes down for the Crystal Maiden. A one-for-one -one trade as Alien Bot getting caught out, but his healing ward keeping him alive just barely. But then here comes the nukes. CY just running into all of us, getting stunned and blown up for a three-for-one Tidehunter trade. Not the greatest trade you'd want. Meanwhile, <clears throat> Benbot sitting in, looking for a good hook. But he's not... Guess what's <laughs> Well played, coming out from the... Uh, possibly lagging Anti-Mage. 
Because that was a, a weird engage for him. As we move in onto the I middle tower. Let's bring the score. 23 to 9. Pretty hefty uh, win space for us as I pick up an Ogre Club for my MKB. Kept Sesmance drops the uh, smoke cloud, but we just don't care. Start blowing up the uh, the racks. And there's one. And uh, the Midnight Pulse. Really, look at that damage. It's insane. Being that guy jumps in, I swoop over to him and punch. Zuya getting really low, but he drops his Shadow Blade. Gets the Sunder for full health. Oh, a creep hook as I get dismembered. Drop the Chrono on Ben Bot and get a solo kill up there. See why hopping in with his Battle Fury, but so much damage coming out. Captain Sassy Pants stunned but invisible, so he gets out a three for nothing trade as they dive in further and they get the kill as he blinks and dies in his own fountain. Meanwhile, the barracks have gone down in mid lane as this mop up it continues. Doob getting killed by Captain Sassy Pants. And, uh, so it becomes a four for one trade as they take out the, the uh, poor Enigma. Now, Brandon from Albania Gaming moving into the top four in net worth as he's passed the entire other team. Let's see what he's done with his gold. He's picked up uh, Mac. He's working on an Aghanim Scepter so that the bounces can just will never, ever end. I don't think he's going to have the time to finish it as uh, I pick up my BKB recipe. I decide gear effigy and start beating it to death. Why? Because it's an effigy. You never really win until you destroy someone's effigy. <laughs> Being that guy leaping in, getting killed. I pick up my BKB just by getting close enough. There's the hook on some albino gaming. Let's see if they can finish him off. It looks like, uh, yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> BKB coming out for me. Turn around on CY. As the, all the spells come out. And we just turn around and finish off the Ancient. So that was the uh, one-shot faceless void game that I had. And man, it was fun. It's just the uh, scary thing when you can get anybody on your team off to a really great start especially a terrifying carry like terror blade really did a lot of work this game so nine one and six but i got a four one and 13 mostly an assist to this game but as you can see you know we did uh pretty well that game not ashamed of that for sure so i will catch you guys on the next all hero challenge Let's see i forget who it was i think it was tinker so coming up tinker on the all hero challenge from ty hitch <laughs> all right i'll catch you guys on the flip side